Hello and here we go with another exciting adventure of what's going on in BB land. So I've been happily running version 4.0.3 firmware on the BB for many months. In fact, I'd go as far as to say I've had a crash free year. Um, uh, today is 7th of October 24 and pretty much all year round, gigging most weekends. This has been a right little gem with that firmware. Uh, back in the sun, we did try if you see one of the other videos, did you try another firmware, <clears throat> which gave us a few issues, but uh, we managed to come back to 4.0.3. Um, there'll probably be a link somewhere in the description or search the videos for that. So let's just take a quick look. Uh, BB Info, I don't think you can see that there. Version 4.0.3. And why would I want to upgrade? Well, there's a few new features available, which I think I could make use of. Um, I had one or two issues with people on the website. I've now got the latest one off the website, which I believe is 4.6.1. We'll find out when I uh, shove it in the hole. Um, am I taking a chance? Am I stupid? Should I stick with the current firmware? Well, I'll only be able to tell you if I've done the right thing or not after I've upgraded and had a little test run through and one or two gigs. So let's just have a look what's on the memory stick from the website. And uh, what version is the latest on there? Oh, 4.6.3. So um, let's see how we go with that. So um, I'll come back in a second. Off we go. Oh, fingers crossed. So I've just done the uh, update and it's uh, it made a funny popping noise on the audios. It did a reboot uh, installing halfway through, but then it did a proper reboot and uh, we're at this stage. Obviously the update is looking for the update. See, I don't want to update, so I've just done that. So um, cancel, get rid of the USB stick. As soon as we booted up, we had our holding screen come up immediately, which is a, a positive sign. Um, this is the first time I've run it, so it's completely new to me. So if we go to our playlists, all my playlists is there. Let's just have a quick look, see if we can play that top one, see what happens. Again, uh, I don't know, I've no idea what's going to happen in the next few minutes, how the uh, buttons operate, but uh, we'll find out pretty soon. So I hit play. Yeah, my audio is running in the background. We'll click track. Oh, that's audio on that click track. So, um... If I press stop, can you see the stop button there? Hopefully you can see the uh, uh, the BB and the, the screen. So stop, which is pause. Stop again is rewind. Oh, mega, I've got the holding screen up. So I don't need to press it a third time to go back to the playlist. Brilliant, that's something I've been uh, hoping for for many, uh, many firmware. So let's just pop back into there. So uh, a double tap should skip songs with the holding screen popping up in between. That's not a problem. Uh, let's have a listen to my click track. I've heard a few reports of um, 4.6 something firmware where the click track's been affected during the first couple of seconds. So um, you can hear the click track running there. It's just stop, which is pause, stop again. Let's choose a new track and press play. So far so good, the audio is muted for copyright reasons, enough said about that. Next track, double tap, tap, tap. Tainted love. Mm, so far so good. Let's skip a song, tap, tap. Yeah, okay, just stop that a second. How I've been running it recently is um, we were originally running the click track out of click uh, output one. Uh, in the next few months, I'm going to be running some 70 stripe tracks down there, um, some linear time code, hoping to sync a lighting system to that. So I'm going to lose my click there. But I've got the click routed now to um, the headphone out plus a stereo vision, the backing track. So we just turn off my uh, output one on my mixing desk. Um, 
and so you can hear what's coming out of the headphone outs now. So let's skip to the next song. Here we go. Well, actually, let's skip to the, the following final one. So play. Turn the backing off. Yeah, our click's going up and down on the uh, click knob. Can you see that there? Just zoom out and touch. Ooh. All in. One, two, three. And my backing. Again, this is just what the drummer is going to be hearing. He can mix his back in there and his click. First, two, three, four. Not bad. Stop or pause, I should say. Resume, which uh, would hardly ever happen in the gig. Uh, oh, what about live mode? Let's give live mode a try. So, um, uh, Let's check it and choose a different set. Here's a set that we use at the weekend. So go in there, live, live show, load a song or playlist. Okay, well I thought I'd just done that. Playlist, load, here's my set, live lock, play the first track. All right, double. Uh, let's press stop. Let's pause. Stop a second time. Hold on the screen. Fantastic. Stop again. I can't exit the playlist. Fantastic. This is looking great. Um, and if I press play, I'll resume the song that we uh, just interrupted. Here's the scenario. The band's gone wrong. Stop. Stop. And we're holding the screen. Further stops do nothing. Next song on the down arrow, play. Fantastic, this is looking great. I hope I'm not speaking too soon. <laughs> so live mode um, is doing great. What if we do that? I think we can choose the next song. Yeah, so you can still skip songs um, with the fly, the, the, the rotary wheel. Um, can you fast forward during a song? Let's just try it, let's play a song. No, so I guess live mode is stopping me from fast forwarding, you know, skipping midway through the track, which you'd only probably use in a rehearsal situation anyhow. So exiting from live mode. Oh, yeah, I know I can do it. So if I want to start midway through the song, rehearsal or sound check, skip forward the wheel, pop it to select it, play. Oh, I did a little jump to the start before it caught up then. Let's just try that again. So stop, fast forward the wheel, pop to choose it. Play. Yeah, not bad. Let's try it with another song. So, next song. Fast forward to the middle. Pop it to choose it. Okay. Oh, ah, right. Well, that doesn't matter too much in rehearsal. That's just obviously buffering the first split second of the audio. And when I hit it, it's uh, playing that, which is obviously in the buffer before it goes to the point I selected mid song. Play again. Obviously, the buffer's caught up. So um, let's just repeat that operation. We can go in. We can pick a song. A bit of that one. Oh, load. How do we get play? I don't know what I'm doing now. Look. Playlist. Load the song. Uh, load the, the playlist. Um, let's choose a different track. Let's choose that one there. Skip midway song. You probably wouldn't normally do this kind of thing, anyway, would you? Pop the wheel, hit play. Yeah, it caught up pretty quick. I can't see that being a problem. Uh, live mode, what would happen? No, we can't do it in live mode. So we're just... Uh, we're gonna give you up. Now that was as a cue at the start of the track, which um, I do on some songs. Play one more time from the start of that track. Never gonna give you up. And then we get a click track. So, um, we're looking good. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the menus. Oh, we can't do that. We've got to come out of live mode. Safety first. So, um, we can, we're can. we told we can choose the, uh, the holding screen, the default image. Let's just tip the screen up here. This is our regular holding image. You've probably seen that on some other videos. Options. Uh, where are we? 
background image. So we pop in there. And I guess we've got to um, pop it to save it or to load it. Or hit save. Oh, it's not there. What's going on there? Plus I've got to... Oh, yeah, I've got to hit stop. That's to refresh the screen to do it. Um, if you want a Freddie Mercury backing image. Oh, yeah, crossfade over there. Let's try one more. Test image. Yeah, that's working a treat. All right, back to my beach logo. Fantastic. Another... Um, feature they've added here is to put stuff into folders now i'm probably gonna leave that till after the gig before i start messing around with that um but another feature i was really keen to see was the mute family so hopefully you can see the screen if that's in focus there let's um let's mute our cheap vocals and keys which we uh don't use in the bass so we've got three there muted. Um, and if I do a reboot, that should retain those uh, mute groups, so we're told. So powering off, as you can see. Pop, we're off. Oh, it's a nasty pop. Top tip from this uh, firmware is um, make sure your system's muted when you're booting up, unless you like a nasty pop. I think that's coming from the headphone out, that nasty pop that you heard there. Again, learn to, there's a B beat logo on the screen while we're up, booting up, if you uh, just see that there. And there we go, we're booted up. Holding the screens there. Let's check those mute groups. Settings, mute families. Oh. They're not there, are they? That didn't work. Disable. Ah, perhaps that's the set that's in the wrong way. Let's try disable. Disable. So there's a little D, there's a speaker, and an X and a D. If I do it on the mono backing, that's got an F next to it. So mute gives us an F. Disable puts a D next to it. Perhaps that's what I should have done. Back. Just revisit it. Yeah, okay. Let's power off. Booting back up. Oh, a little update. What was that? Since I'm on the screen there. So um, back in the menu, mute families. Ooh, look. So disable, um, obviously a different function to mute. So I assume it's doing the same task as in killing those tracks. Um, we'll find out when we get playing, I guess. Uh, and by the way, I've not even done the new uh, desktop editor. That's going to be the next... Uh, I'll probably do that in a separate video, but... Um, this is just everything done on the BB. What you've seen in the last sort of uh, 13, 14 minutes, you've experienced my first run through with um, version 4.6.3. At the same time I have, hopefully the, uh, the tracks still work. Playlist, um, rehearsal playlist play so there you are you know as much as me now i'll report back with some more findings after the gig uh, the weekend fingers crossed see you soon people